Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to compare two lists and generate a third list that shows either the ones that are the same on both lists or the ones that are on the second list that are not on the first list. And we're going to use functions from Office 365, so we're going to use some newer functions that are available in Excel. So let's see how we can do this in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have two lists, one on top that contains four names and the one on the bottom that contains six. And what I want to do is I want to compare the two and in the bottom section here, generate the items that are on the second list that also appear on the first. Now I did some highlighting just to make it easier to make sure we have the correct answers, but you can see Ramona Casey, Herbert Hogan, and Maxine Massey are on both lists while the others are not. And so those three names is what I want to appear on the list below. So we're going to use these functions today, filter, is number, x match, and not. So I'm going to start out with equals filter. And the array I want to include is this array here, comma. So what do I want to include? I'm going to use the is number function and the x match function. So with x match, I want to look at the bottom list here, comma, and compare it to the top list. I'll close the x match function the is number function and the filter function, I'll hit enter and notice I get Ramona Casey, Herbert Hogan, and Maxine Massey, plus I get a zero because that is one that also matches between the two. I have a blank row here that matches with a blank row up here, but I'll show you how to get rid of those in a minute after we go through how this formula works. So if I look up into my formula bar and I look into the isNumber function and look at xMatch and I hit F9, you'll see I get a 2, a 4, NA, NA, 1, NA, and 5. So Ramona Casey is in row 2, Herbert Hogan is in row 4, Maxine Massey is in row 1, and the blank appears in row 5. So that's what xMatch generates from comparing those two lists. And if we look at the is number aspect of this, I'll hit F9, you'll see I get true, true, false, false, true, false, true. True, true, false, false, true, false, and true. Now, how do we eliminate the zero? So what we need to do is add another criteria to the filter function here. So I'm going to wrap the is number function in a set of parentheses and then I'm going to multiply that times another criteria which is this range does not equal blank. Close that parentheses, hit enter and now it filtered out the items that have rows that are blank. Finally, what if I want to see not the items that are on both, but the items on the second list that are not on the first list? So basically, I want to generate a list that has Otis Silva, Tyler White, and Teresa Maxwell. Well, Excel does not have an is not number function, but it does have a not function. And if we take a look at that, equals not, you can see the not function changes falses to true and trues to false. So all I need to do then is go into my formula and in front of the isNumber function put not and then go to the end of that area, close that parentheses, hit enter, and now I get the items on the second list that are not on the first. Otis Silva, Tyler White, and Teresa Maxwell. And that's how you can do that in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at my website, excel-bytes.com, or at any of the social networks noted below. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy excelling.